Do you want to become a certified Salesforce B2C solution architect? This video is for you. It explores how to pass the exam and prepare for the role by an enterprise architect, Gaurav Katarpal. Welcome to 100 Days of Trailhead, where the tech community comes to learn Salesforce, learn tech, get inspired, and invest in ourselves. We are your trail guides here to support you on your learning journey. We release videos weekly. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. In the description below, you can find links for everything we mention in this video, as well as books and resources we found useful. Visit our blog, 100daysoftrailhead.com, for other helpful Salesforce and tech content. Do you have experience across various cloud products and want to better understand customers? Consider becoming a B2C Solution Architect. This video will cover what is needed to study for the B2C Solution Architect exam and how to prepare for this role by an enterprise architect, Gaurav Ketterpal. Gaurav is a five-time Salesforce MVP, happily married to Salesforce since 2007. He is a certified technical instructor, eight times Dreamforce speaker, and an Einstein champion. Gaurav has 34 Salesforce certifications and three MuleSoft certifications. A developer at heart, an architect by role, Gaurav currently works as CTO at MTX Group. And in this episode of 100 Days of Trailhead, I'll talk about how do you become a Salesforce B2C solution architect, the newest uh, and the shiniest uh, Salesforce credential that's in town. Um, so let's talk about it. Um, I broadly classify uh, this topic into four areas. Uh, one is the pyramids, um, there is the CTA pyramid and then the B2C solution architect track has its own pyramid. Uh, how do you prepare for this credential? Uh, what is the exam like and what does the overall roadmap look like? So let's get started. Uh, let's talk about the architect pyramids. Uh, anybody who's been around in the Salesforce ecosystem for a while would def definitely identify with this pyramid. Uh, the certified technical architect, uh, the pinnacle of success for uh, technical architects in the Salesforce ecosystem. Uh, and it's been around for a while, uh, easily the most uh, comprehensive and the most difficult um, Salesforce credential to achieve and uh, the most prestigious one as well. So how do you go about this one? Um, there are uh, essentially two tracks, you uh, become the application architect, you become system architect and then once you have met those uh, prerequisites, uh, it makes you eligible for the review board um, which um, is, 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 is fairly tough. Um, so while this was good and this has existed for a while and uh, a lot of technical architects aspire to do this, uh, there was a big gap in terms of there was not really a credential for solution architects in the Salesforce world. So what Salesforce has done now is they have fixed that gap thankfully and they have introduced a new credential called B2C solution architect and uh, the pyramid is structured in some ways which is similar to the CTA and in many ways it's different as well. So broadly talking about the differences, there are certain prerequisites like you need to be a marketing cloud email specialist, you need to pass your platform app builder, you need to pass the integration architecture designer exam and that enables you to, to actually take the exam, the B2C solution architect. Uh, this is another criterion exam which is uh, you'll take it on web assessor whether it's through your home uh, or, or walking into a, a criterion center. Uh, this is not like a review board, it's not based on um, presentation that you need to do or a QA and a you face uh, but at the same time it's it's a difficult exam because it's it's a multi-cloud exam in the b2c space so it involves a number of technologies that you need to master not exactly master but you need to be at least clear in terms of the solution architecture concepts um, on b2c commerce on marketing cloud on sales cloud on service cloud and and several more uh, so I'll talk about my experience and then uh, some of the few things that helped me and I'm hoping that uh, once, you, uh, once you go through these and uh, the resources that I point out that uh, it will prepare you for uh, this exam as well. So what kind of an architect are you? So there is obviously uh, multiple architect roles within the software industry uh, and it broadly classifies in terms of two focus areas. One is the technology focus. If you have a high technology focus or a deep technical focus, then you are a technical architect. If you have a more strategic focus, then you are an enterprise architect. And solution architect is the kind of middle ground of both that you are not necessarily too technical. And then you, you focus uh, on strategy, but again, that's not uh, the only thing that you do. So uh, you need to actually understand both technical architect 
architect, um, uh, some parts of technical architect domain and some parts of the enterprise architect domain. So, it is a combination of technology focus as well as strategy focus and again there are multiple titles that can be given to architects. They could be uh, uh, focused on data architecture, they could be focused on enterprise architecture, they could be focused on um, several other things and again uh, these titles may, may vary uh, in terms of some of the responsibilities that an individual carry out. But the overall idea is that now there is a credential for solution architect. So, you do not need to be an imposter uh, trying uh, to, to become a technical architect and uh, you can actually uh, stay true to yourself and work for towards this particular credential. Uh, the prep, uh, it is a difficult exam. There is absolutely no two ways about it. You need to be prepared. You need to have your second line of defense, your third line of defense as shown in the picture uh, and have your guard up uh, to, to pass this exam. So, uh, in general the philosophy that I have followed for multiple credentials uh, and this one was no different was uh, read the exam guide, uh, do the trail mix, uh, do it multiple times. There are a lot of good references, there are a number of PDFs which uh, the trailhead team has provided for um, this particular trail mix. And then they have done a fantastic job, the part partner enablement team has published uh, PLC courses on these. Uh, if you do these three three things and you do them right, uh, there, is a, there is a really good chance that you can actually pass uh, this particular credential. It has worked well for me, so there is absolutely no reason that uh, this approach uh, may not work for you. Uh, the prep, uh, again uh, this is a multi-cloud exam, so the scope is a, a little bit broader. Uh, you need to know as I said uh, a number of clouds. Uh, again, it is not really expected that you have hands on knowledge on uh, each of those, but you know enough to, to kind of come up with optimal solutions on each of these. So, uh, as I said, uh, the, the partner team has done a fantastic job in terms of the partner learning camp courses that they have produced and this is kind of a, uh, a layered uh, learning approach that they have come up with. You do the foundational courses which is basically con core concepts like a single source of truth, where is your, um, uh, if, if for example, you need to store um, uh, uh, the case uh, data for uh, a contact, where, where should it go? If you need to store the journey data, where does it go? So, each of these have their own uh, source of truths. So, you need to understand that. Then multi-cloud commerce, there will be a lot of questions around commerce, around order history, around uh, API driven B2C commerce experiences. So, you need to know those concepts. Uh, multi-cloud service, similarly, again similar to multi-cloud commerce, you need to understand service cloud concepts, but in a multi-cloud environment. Same for marketing and then integration is a big, big uh, uh, focus area for this exam and so is personalization, segmentation, customer experience and once you do all of this, it kind of prepares you for this credential. And as I said, trail mix, exam guide, PLC, you have a fair shot at passing the exam. Uh, customer use cases, so it all boils down to use cases. The whole exam is based on use cases. So, uh, you need to identify uh, how do you how do you identify your customer across clouds, uh, whether you use something like a global party ID or whether you use a customer ID. Uh, how do you identify them in marketing cloud? How do you identify them in service cloud? What is your data strategy? How is uh, How are you getting data from multiple systems? Uh, especially in a B2B, B2C scenario. And then how are your profiles being synced? Because uh, if the profiles are not being synced, if they are out of sync uh, and there is disparity in the multiple profiles across clouds, then, then uh, it will actually lead to uh, a lot of data issues. Uh, again, most important, uh, how do data volume considerations or LDV come into play? So again, this is an, uh, another concept that you need to identify uh, if you are preparing for this exam. Uh, so, to give you some examples, for example, commerce and marketing, it is a very common scenario that uh, you will actually combine these two in a multi-cloud scenario. Uh, so, you might be sending out transactional emails based on what the user is doing. You might actually send out behavioral emails based on uh, abandoned cards. So, for example, the user put a product in their card, but they never really checked out. Uh, so, you might actually use uh, marketing cloud in conjunction with commerce cloud to fire a reminder email or send them a, a nice offer which they cannot refuse. And then data synchronization, as I said, single view of the customer, single source of truth and uh, how do you kind of uh, consolidate information like um, customer, catalog, content and orders. Uh, then another example is commerce cloud and service cloud. Uh, for example, if a customer was placing an order uh, on your storefront and they face some issues, how do they raise a case, where is that case information stored and advanced use cases like how do they order on behalf of other users as well. So, again these scenarios you are expected to know and the best part is 
everything is there in the documentation in terms of how you solution some of these scenarios. Uh, B2C solution kits, uh, that's another uh, key focus area for the exam. You need to know the uh, solution kits. Things like uh, how do you view order history, how do you order on behalf of and some other uh, typical commerce oriented uh, use cases like coupons, transactional emails, personalized recommendations, abandoned card, etc. Uh, the exam itself, as I said, it's not a it's not a difficult exam, but at the same time, it's a passable exam. So if you if you get your study strategy right, you can actually uh, pass the exam. Um, there are multiple choice questions as compared to the conventional exams like a sales cloud, service cloud, or a platform exam. It's slightly more different and difficult because. Uh, in those exams, you actually get um, questions which usually have one right answer out of four or two right answers out of um, four. Here you will actually have a lot of questions which have three right answer answers out of five and in some cases two right answers out of five. So you need to eliminate, uh, you need to apply your judgment, your due diligence. And then uh, I typically go through these expressions uh, when reading the questions in every exam. But if you use your common sense, if you trust your uh, judgment and if you have the concepts clear, again, you will be able to kind of get to the answers. Uh, the overall roadmap of these exams, uh, there is another one coming for B2B Solution Architect. Again, all credit to Trailhead team, fantastic job creating these PLC courses. And I'm sure there is a trail mix coming for that as well. And then they are also planning uh, what is called as uh, credentials for uh, Salesforce Solution Architect as well as Salesforce Enterprise Architect. Again, the emphasis uh, would be a slightly different that uh, Solution Architect is not just a B2C or a B2B play. You have true cross cloud expertise and for the Enterprise Architect, you can actually do large scale complex delivery, multi cloud enterprise integration expertise in enterprise uh, architecture methodology and so on and so forth. So all in all, a very exciting time for uh, being an architect. And uh, with that, uh, I wish you good luck for this particular credential. Thank you. And with that, we're at the end. Are you going to set a goal to take your B2C Solution Architect exam? Comment below. We would also love to hear what video topics you want us to cover in future videos. If you've made it to this point, we want to take an opportunity to say thank you. Since you stayed with us, here's a bonus. To become a B2C architect, you need to know various cloud products, including but not limited to Commerce Cloud, Marketing Cloud, Service Cloud, and Community Cloud. Use Trailhead, Community Groups, and Salesforce Saturday to get an in-depth understanding of these products to be a successful B2C architect. Thank you for spending time with us. Please like and subscribe to our channel because we share weekly content to support your tech and Salesforce learning journey. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a new video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. Connect with us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and on 100daysoftrailhead.com, all of which are listed below. Thank you for learning with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.